Welcome back to another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I'll be talking about four stocks that can explode tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys all the key levels I'm looking at for all four stocks. So buying levels, resistance levels, and support levels. Buying levels where I'm looking to enter, resistance levels where I'm looking to exit. And we'll get into the video. So make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, turn your post notifications so you do not miss any updates. And always remember, share the video out to your friends and family so we can spread that knowledge. So the first stock I'll be talking about today is Venco Ventures, ticker symbol BBIG, ticker symbol BBIG. So make sure you stay tuned, okay? Now, for ticker symbol BBIG, this stock can explode. The reason why is it hit a level today. So it hit a buying level today, but there's also one more buying level that will go over. So we have resistance right here around $7. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to move that level lower to around 650. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move this level to 650. I think 650 is a closer resistance level to kind of where price is right there. Okay, around 650. That you want to kind of watch that, start looking out for some resistance to come in, okay? For buying had an old buying level around five dollars ninety cents came down there once buying pressure second time buying pressure look how perfect that is right right off that level buying pressure came in i was watching it okay i was watching it but it did not show strength that it wanted to go higher so i didn't buy and good thing i didn't because it kind of just stalled out and fizzled out the rest of the day so that level's been hit the level that i'm watching now is this 560 area okay I'm thinking it might want to do a little more pullback since it didn't show buying pressure up here. It might want to do a little more pullback and come down to this 560 area. Okay. Now that scenario right here is if it pulls back. So you're looking at a percentage of about 15%. If it pulled back to 560 shows buying pressure, then we could look to exit around $6.50. Okay. That's if it shows buying pressure at 560. Now, if it doesn't come all the way down to 560 and it goes higher, then I'll be looking at around $6 to show buying pressure. And still be looking to exit around that 650 level. Because I'm pretty sure um, it should still be, let's see. So about an 8% return, I'll take that, okay? Since B BBIG is a little more riskier, I'll take an 8% return on it, okay? So that's what I'm kind of looking at right now. If it if it doesn't drop tomorrow, it goes higher. I'm looking around six for buying pressure, exit at six fifty. But if it comes down tomorrow, I'm looking around five sixty and exit around um, six fifty. Okay. So that's how I'm kind of looking at it. That's how I'm kind of playing ticker symbol BBIG for tomorrow. Second stock is DD Global ticker symbol DIDI. -D -I. Ticker symbol DIDI. -D so we'll go over some new levels that I'm kind of looking to play. We had a nice pump up today. So let's go ahead and clear this chart. Okay. So we had a nice run today. Okay. Pump pre market, even pump normal hours, which is good. Hit a resistance level today as well. So the next resistance level that I'm kind of watching out for is around like 1050. Uh, let's go out to the 90 day. Okay, so what I'm kind of looking out for now is around 1050 for resistance. So kind of watch that level. Could be a possible resistance around 1050. Can also be an exit target too, depending on uh, the amount of percentage. And then I'm also looking at 11 for resistance. Okay. So you have about two resistance level for buying. I'm looking at around nine dollars. So I want to see some pullback. It's already pulling back um, after hours, which is good. That's what we want to see. But I want to see a little more deeper pullback tomorrow and get that buying pressure around that nine dollar area. And then I think it will be good to go. So let's make that a little bigger. So from that nine dollar area. If we saw buying pressure, we entered at the $9 area, we'd be looking to exit at 1050, about a 16% return, and then 11, about a 21% return. 
So very, very nice returns. We just got to make sure that we get that buying pressure in around that $9 area. Okay, so that's the main three levels. I'm looking for ticker symbol DIDI. Next one is Kinder Morgan. Okay, ticker symbol KMI. Ticker symbol KMI. Now, with this one, we had a huge drop. Okay, any huge drop does lead to some opportunity. So some levels I'm looking at first, I'll give you guys a resistance level first. Make sure you guys use Will 50 off to get $50 off the stock market options crash course. Very, very informative videos. Okay, it'll teach you how to day trade, swing trade, how to trade in bullish markets, bearish markets. Very, very informative video. Now, for buying pressure, I'm looking at around 17. Doesn't have to be exactly 17, just in that area is where I'm looking at for buying pressure. Okay, if we get that buying pressure right there, I might be going a little heavier than I normally do. Okay, I might be going a little heavier than I normally do. So around 17, I'm looking for that buying pressure. And then I'll be looking to exit around 18. Okay, so from around 17, exit 18, about 6%. Okay, that's why I said I'm looking to go heavier so that 6% can equal a normal 10% gain for me. Okay, because I actually like this one a lot. It's just been showing pressure, nice up movement since September, having a harder drop. So I think that'd be a nice play in. I just want to see some buying pressure coming around this area and then look to exit around 18. You can probably even play options too on it. I haven't looked at the option chain yet, but um, probably tomorrow I'll let you guys know in the Discord chat room. If we can place some options on it as well because i actually like the stock a lot but those are really the main two levels i'm looking for for ticker symbol kmi for kinder morgan the last one is zynga incorporation ticker symbol z n g a ticker symbol z n g a now with this one i'll give you guys the um resistance level first Make sure you guys, if you haven't smashed the like button, make sure you do so. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you share the video out to your friends and family. So first exit level is $8.25. Okay, that's the first level I'm looking at to exit. It'll also be a resistance level. So kind of exiting right around that resistance level is key. Buying pressure, I'm looking at around $7.50. So let's turn that level green. And it's good too because it's already pulling back after hours so it should pull back tomorrow and kind of give us that buying pressure so around seven dollars and fifty cents if we get that buying pressure we'll be looking to exit around eight dollars twenty five cents perfect ten percent play okay i like this one too because we're starting to see some pressure going higher so it should be a little easier to get that play all we need is some pullback i don't think it really has had any pullback yet so looking for that little deeper retracement pullback and i think we will be good to go okay so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. It's for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.